with your kids. Hola, ni hao, konnichiwa, assalamu alaikum, shalom, mahaba, moni muli wanji, namaste, jambo, bienvenidos. Hi, my name is Jen Lee and this is the Reading With Your Kids podcast. We are coming to you from the beautiful neighborhood of Reedville in the southwest corner of Boston, Massachusetts. We are so delighted and honored that you are part of our beautiful Reading With Your Kids family. Please connect with us on social media, facebook.com slash reading with your kids, at Jedly Magic on Twitter, at reading with your kids on Instagram. Our guest today is Teresa Van Rijn. She's here to celebrate her debut children's book, which is also a reading with your kids certified great read, Zippy's Special Gift. Before we invite Therese into the studio, we want to invite you to visit our website, readingwithyourkids.com. We'd love for you to go there. There's so much for you to do, but most of all, we'd love you to go there and sign up for our newsletter. Twice a month, we send out our newsletter letting folks know about what they missed on the show, what's coming up, along with some great activities you can do with your family, some great recipes you can cook, some great games you can play. It's all available on readingwithyourkids.com. It is absolutely free. Readingwithyourkids.com. Joining us right now from Chicago in the state of Illinois. She is here to celebrate her brand new children's book, Zippy's Special Gift. Please welcome to the show, Therese Van Ryn. Therese, how are you? I'm doing well. How about you, Jen? Wonderful. We were just having a lovely conversation about Chicago and working remotely and COVID-19. And it's amazing what we can talk about these days. That's right. Yeah. Well, I'm really excited to learn about Zippy's special gift. Zippy's special gift is my first children's book, and it's so exciting. We celebrate the book birthday on March 2nd of 2021, and we've had tremendous feedback, Jed, on this book. Children of all ages, even adults, really love the story that it tells. You know, it starts off with Zippy the Zebra she doesn't really like her stripes. And she tells her mom, you know, why do I have to look so different from everyone else? And through discussions, short conversations she has with her animal friends, she realizes that each of them has a unique trait about them and they celebrate them as their special gifts. And she comes in the end to celebrate her own special gift of her stripes. And it really talks about how we're all unique in our own special ways and a great reminder for all of us that uh, we should celebrate our differences. Absolutely. Now, why did you choose the zebra? Um, you, you know, it's a really neat animal, um, but it's one of those weird animals that, you know, you would think in nature, in nature, you know, the, the lion is kind of camouflaged, it blends in. And the, all these other animals seem to blend into their surroundings. And meanwhile, you have this zebra that is bright white with black stripes. And that seems like a, a, a sign to say, hey, come on and eat me. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, the company that I work for is called Zebra Technologies. And Zippy is our mascot. And so when I was going through my bucket list during COVID, as we all had some downtime, right, I decided, you know what, I've always wanted to write a book. I'm going to go ahead and, and put pen to paper. And this was back in April. And I decided that Zippy would be a phenomenal main character for this book because of her stripes, like you mentioned. She is very unique. And the fact that I could represent the culture of zebra through this book because zebra truly celebrates the differences and the, you know, we celebrate inclusion, diversity of our employees and our customers and partners as well. And the true benefit of this, in addition to the, the great story and, and lessons learned from reading this book is that all the profits from the sales of the book are being donated to Bernie's book bank, which is based here in Chicago, helping underserved children in communities where they don't have books. And what a basic need, right, for all of us to be able to have books at home to read and to grow from. So through this donation to Bernie's Book Bank, we help to uh, build liter literacy in the Chicagoland area and beyond. 
that is really wonderful. I'm I'm happy that you're involved with getting kids books. One of the studies that we've cited here on the on the podcast in the past is a finding that having as few as 20 books in the home can greatly increase your child's chances of going to university. Now, I'm saying, you know, as few as 20 books in the home, you know, here in, you know, my wife is a teacher and uh, I I was involved in education and, you know, our family just, uh, you know, both sides of the family just celebrate and love literacy and reading. So our kids probably had two or 300 books in the home. But the reality is to have 20 books in the home that could mean of an investment of four or five hundred dollars. I mean, you know, it's not mm-hmm. it's it's not nothing. And there's right. a lot of families out there that don't have the abilities to get that twenty books in the home. And so, what a wonderful thing you and your company are do, are doing. Thank you. Yeah, we're very very pleased to be able to help out in this way. Yeah. Now, when you you put pen to paper, will you? Thinking long term, oh, we're going to tie this into Zebra Technologies and we're going to do this great thing for the community. Or was it, I just have this cool children's story I want to tell. And, oh, yeah, we can integrate it and create some synergy after the story was created. I would say it was a a combination at uh, Zebra Technologies, like I said, we have a a culture of, of inclusion and diversity, but we also believe in giving back. In addition to leading the public relations team there, I also lead our philanthropy program. And uh, Bernie's Book Bank is one of our key strategic charitable partners. We also support, uh, in addition to education, we support STEM, science, technology, education, or engineering, rather, and math, as well as um, uh, health care and disaster relief. So those are our key themes that we support from a, from a philanthropic perspective and education fits right in there in our, uh, in our target mission to, to give back in our local communities. So this book fits right into that theme. And, uh, as I said, it's launching March 2nd and, and we hope a lot of people really enjoy it. Yeah. You know, you mentioned uh, your, your, your corporation and you celebrate diversity and, a di- you know, diverse talents and abilities, and as you were talking about uh, some of the things that your corporation supports, uh, disaster relief and health care, all those different services really do depend on a really diverse team of, of people. And uh, hopefully one of the things that, that I'm hoping parents can share with their kids is you don't need to, you don't need to be that kid that has a 4.0 average and is perfect at school to to dream about having a career in the STEM fields. Uh, you know, the STEM fields need everybody. They, you know, some some STEM fields need photographers. Some STEM fields need, you know, mechanics. You know, they, there's yes, we, we think of the, the 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 scientists with the pocket protector. I don't. Do they still have those anymore? Uh, <laughs> you know, but we always think of that 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 PhD, and oh, you have to be a PhD and a science guy, science girl to 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 be in STEM. But it's not the case. We all have something that we can contribute. You're a hundred percent correct. I, I consider myself part of the STEM field and, and I'm a creative, right? I love to write. I love to read. So you're right. It, it takes all kinds of talents. And, and when you think about it, it's, it's not just your team that needs to be diverse. It's, or you do need to be diverse. I should say, because those you're serving, you're serving a diverse audience, right? We have just a, a wide array of customers that Zebra Technology serves. And so by reflecting that, diversity within our workforce, we can help them in a better way. Yeah. Um, I'm curious, what kind of conversations can you envision uh, families having as they're, as they're reading uh, Zippy's special gift over and over again? It's a great question, Jed. And just last week, I had a colleague reach out to me and applaud the book. And she said, my daughter and I read through it last night. And after we put the book down, we talked about what her special gifts were. 
And, and what a, what a special gift for me as an author to have that conversation develop from this book. I've had feedback from someone else who asked me, did you conduct a focus group when you were creating this book? Because my daughter's reaction to it is incredible. Part of the book, Zippy talks to her friend, the owl, and the owl says, I don't say toot toot. I say hoot. And, and the daughter wakes up every morning saying, Daddy, Owl doesn't say toot toot. So now she's repeating the book and, and learning her own grammar. And it's, um, you know, so many conversations can come out of it. But I think the bottom line is realizing what our own special gifts are is a, a true blessing. Yeah. You know, and, and as I'm looking at the preview of the book uh, on Amazon, uh, the, the illustrations are really cool. And one of the things that we encourage families to do, you know, there are so many different ways that we can, quote, unquote, read uh, a children's book. You know, uh, kids love reading the same books over and over again. Some parents, you know, when you get to reading 100, it gets to be old. And it's like, come on, kid, you know, let's read something different. You can change it up and you can read the book in a different way, experience the book in a different way. And one of the ways to experience it is um, through taking a picture walk, covering up the text, and just kind of walking through the pictures before you read the story. And I'm looking, and I'm imagining Zippy's special gift would be a great book to do that with. You know, you can uh, sit down and say, "What do you think? Uh, what do you think that means, special gift?" And as you're going through the pictures, where do you think Zippy's special gift is? And this animal, and that animal, and I think that that would be really fun uh to do it'd be an interesting insight into your kids and where they're thinking and i think it'd be a lot of fun to see if the gifts that you imagine and the gifts that your child imagines lines up with the gifts that you uh write about that's a phenomenal idea jed i love it i never thought about that but you're absolutely right it's one of those very very colorful books and and one of the benefits too i know as i'm getting older i have to wear glasses to read right the, the print is so large that I think it's great for parents, grandparents, easy to read. It has a rhyming uh, um, with each page. You have, you know, rhymes that go with it. So when you do choose to read the words, you've got that fun cadence. Mm -hmm. But you're right. You could look at it as a picture book as well. Yeah. And that the rhyming, one of the things that, that I really love about rhyming books is it's a great way to empower kids giving them the idea that, yeah, I can read because they can anticipate uh, what is coming next. And certainly by the time you're on reading four or five, they're remembering a lot of those words. So even though they may not be uh, putting the different sounds of the letters together, they're actually helping you read. And that is giving them the confidence to understand that, yeah, I can I can do this. That's right. Yeah. You're absolutely correct. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious, what's the buzz been around the Zebra Technology remote offices uh, about this book? The buzz has been great. We've had so many people uh, purchase the book, whether on uh, Amazon, as you mentioned, or on Mascot Publishing. We recently received a Reader's Choice five-star rating. So we've had that to celebrate. Um, you know, we're working remote these days uh, as a result of the pandemic and, and giving our employees a lot of flexibility in that respect. But this book has really been something to, to cherish as we're spending more time at home with our families. And it, it gives us, uh, you know, a special treat to share with children and grandchildren during a little bit more of a downtime that we have with less travel. Yeah. Now, I'm curious, did you always dream about being a children's author? It's been on my bucket list uh, my entire life. This is something that I would wanted to accomplish. And so I'm, I'm just thrilled that we were able to do it during a pandemic, no less, and that the, uh, the profits from it are benefiting such a great organization. Yeah, yeah. Hey, can you talk a little bit more about that um, organization, let people know more about it so that they can uh, check it out themselves and see if they want to support it directly? Absolutely. Yeah, their website is berniesbookbank.org, and it is here in the Chicago suburbs. It's um, It's an incredible organization that 
gathers books, both new and, and slightly used, gently used books, if you will. Uh, they have an incredible base of volunteers that get together, again, built a little bit slower now during the pandemic. But I've gone there myself. We've done team meetings there and, and group events where we go together and we'll uh, sort the books that are generously donated by some publishers as well as local residents. And uh, it's children, kindergarten through sixth grade that uh, receive books on a regular basis. And I've actually had the opportunity to go to one of the book distributions and to see the faces of the children that receive the bag of six books. It's unbelievable, Jed. I, it's, it, if you're ever in Chicago, please let me know. We'll, we'll take you along. And to, sometimes they trade the books. Maybe the, the ones they get aren't their favorites, but they have a friend that has one that they like and, and others will just sit there and just hold them and hug them mm -hmm. and they treat them like gold. So to be able to be a part of that is really something special. And again, going back to that statistic about 20 books, that's more than a quarter um, mm -hmm. of, uh, uh, of that goal or, or that, 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 um, that, that kind of milestone. That's, that's really beautiful. Um, mm -hmm. Now that you've written Zippy's special gift, uh, have you caught the children's author bug has – Zebra caught it as a corporation. Are, are, are we looking at a Zippy series? <laughs> it's a great question. We haven't quite decided the next step yet, but I will say that it's opened a whole new world for me. I've learned so much. Who knew? I'm, I'm used to product launches, right? Our, our business is in mobile computing and scanning. We like to say we give a performance edge to the front line of business. So if you walk into a Target store, for example, and you see an associate in the aisle, holding a mobile device, they may be collecting an order for curbside pickup, or they may be checking stock in the back on this mobile device. That's a Zebra device. So this is the type of visibility that we bring to our customers in retail, healthcare, and, and other industries. And, um, you know, it's interesting because we, um, we focus on that and uh, we'd like to bring a, a performance edge to everything we do. So whether that means a, another book or maybe a different tactic that we'll try to give back to the local community that's yet to be written, but I'm sure we'll do something great. Hey, you know, you, you mentioned Zebra a little bit and what, what you folks are doing. We, this is such a wonderful service that they're providing. Why don't we talk a little bit more about Zebra and what, and what it is that you guys do and where people can go to find out more about it? Sure. So our company can be found at zebra.com. And like I said, we truly bring a, a performance edge to the front line of business. We have uh, solutions that help people give visibility into their supply chain, help them increase their operational visibility. In these times of um, COVID, for example, we've had a, we've seen a dramatic increase in e-commerce, right? Mm -hmm. So many of us are ordering things online so that we can buy online and pick up in store or visit a retailer at the curb and have the uh, products brought out to our cars. So our devices, our scanners, our real-time locationing systems are really um, important in these times to increase that efficiency in our customers. And another great example of what Zebra does with the recent Super Bowl, um, you may see on the screen when you watch TV, during a, a NFL game, you may see next-gen stats where they'll show some stats from a player on the field. Maybe someone ran particularly fast in that recent play. And Zebra is the technology that empowers that data to be brought to life. In fact, we put RFID tags, small nickel-sized sensors, in the shoulder pads of every NFL player. And through that sensing, we can deliver that data on how fast they're running. We put it in the ball. We can tell you how far the ball was was thrown. So it's it's an exciting company to work for. We're always making new acquisitions and adding to our team and, and helping customers around the world improve their performance edge. Wow. Wow. Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk that when my buddy, not my buddy, but my my favorite quarterback, Tom Brady, was tossing the ball around. It was it was being tracked by an RFID chip, and those stats were being sent into a computer. I shouldn't be surprised, but I'm almost 100 years old, so uh, 
That is so cool. Uh, so tell us where we can find uh, find our copy of Zippy's special gift. Well, I hope you'll visit Amazon and, and leave a review there if you like it. I hope you will. Uh, it can also be found on Mascot Publishing and, and other major book carriers. So I hope you'll give it a try. We've had some great book reviews come out and, and would love for everyone to enjoy it with their children. And, you know, we do love Amazon. They've done so much great stuff. They just bought me a brand new pair of pants. It was wonderful. Um, but, you know, there are local and independent bookstores out there that also need our support. I think Mr. Uh, Bezos can survive if you choose to call up your local bookstore and say, hey, do you have this book called Zippy Special Gift by Therese Van Ryn? You don't. Could you order it for me, please? And they'll probably be able to have it there for you in two or three days. And that's a great way to support uh, Bernie's Book Bank, Zippy, and also a local bookstore. You're right, Jed. And and so many small and be- medium-sized businesses use our products as well. So that would be a great idea. I support that 100%. Yeah. I have to tell you, Therese, um, don't suggest putting any kind of FID chip on me because it would be very boring, especially now in pandemic. It's like he went down to the studio, he went up to eat. He went down to the gym, <laughs> he went up to You'd be an easy one to track, is that easy what you're telling me? One. Oh, easy one. You could track me with an abacus. So we've been having a great time speaking to the author of Zippy's special gift, Therese Van Ryn. Hey, Therese, thank you so very much for being part of our show. Thank you, Jed. I really appreciate you having me. It's been so much fun, and thank you for all you do. Please be sure to join us for the next episode of the Reading With Your Kids podcast. Our guest will be Rosie Poba. She'll be here to celebrate Sunday rain. And we'll also have a visit from Marla Humer. She'll be here to celebrate a brand new workbook that will bring hours of family fun to your home. I want to thank the folks who made today's show so wonderful. Of course, I want to thank our guest, Therese Van Ryn. Be sure to check out Zippy's special gift. I also want to thank my team, Alejandra Doherty, Fatima Khan, Alexia Brown, Hannah Pat Oboiski. I want to thank my beautiful wife for all the support she gives me. Most of all, we want to thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. And as always, thank you so very much for taking the time to make the world a better place by reading with your kids. I'll be looking for you in the next edition of the Reading With Your Kids podcast. What? <laughs>